Hi and welcome to this Vortex Mixer review. Having something to mix your paints for you is definitely something that's in fashion at the moment. And when you've got people like Midwinter Minis showing off their kit and demonstrating the high-end for ease version of this, then it's very much in people's psyche. Essentially what any of these mixers are, are an off-center centrifuge. So there's like a, a rotating pad inside there that's got a weight on one side, so it vibrates. And it goes at very high speeds. And if you put a paint against the pad in some way, then the vibration and the swirling motion creates a vortex inside there, which is essentially swirling paint. And it's a really effective way of mixing paints. Now for most people, just doing the old shaking technique has been enough and spending money on one of these things feels a bit of a waste of time, especially taking one of the high-end ones, like I mentioned Mid Mid Minis have got, which is a hundred pounds on the UK Amazon, which for me is a bit ridiculous. My review today, for the two cheaper versions which are available on Amazon. This one, the Prote, which is £26 on UK Amazon. And this one, the Intlab, which is £70 on Amazon. Probably like a lot of people, I went straight for the cheaper one and thought, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Why don't I get the entry level and see what happens about it? Now, my feedback on this one is that as it came from China, it did take about a month to arrive. The socket only arrived in an EU format, so I had to have an adapter to use in the UK plug. But I've been using this one for quite a while and it completely did the job. Really high speed and it mixed up the paint in a really efficient manner. The problem I found with this one is that after that month of not very heavy usage, it's basically stopped working. And it's not a power supply issue. It's an internal functioning issue. It kind of works, not to the same high revolution of speed. And to be honest, it's now broken. And because it came from China, I don't really have a recourse to send it back. Since this one is no longer working, I can't really demonstrate it, but I did find that the suction pads underneath weren't really sufficient to keep it on the ground. And it, it would slide all over the surface. And I did have to hold it with one hand. But what I'll do is I'll show you the other one and then we'll, we'll see how good these units actually are. We'll show you how this works with this one, which I'm going to call the mid-level one. It's about 68 to 70 pounds on the UK Amazon. Essentially, you just push down on the surface and it does its job. You can see there's a little bit of slide. However, this one actually feels quite rooted and stable and it's got a nice weighted base. Obvious things are when you got contrast colours or technical colours and you can see there this one really has separated. You can see the colour mixing in there. After a couple of blasts on that you can see it started to mix quite well. I actually do think that having a quick shake helps to stir up some of the bottom paint. I also think you should do it from the top and the bottom as well. So you do it like that. You can see there that how all the paint that's stuck on the bottom is starting to come away. And we're getting a really nice mix now. And then having a look at that there, that is perfectly mixed without a residue on the bottom. Other common ones are the metallic paints. You can see here, this is actually a new part and the colouring is separated. Again, I would consider shaking it a bit anyway, just to help, but... Some on the side. Maybe even completely upside down. So, I'm not there. That's really nicely mixed. I could continue on that. And this one is a new paint. I opened it especially for this demo. So I would consider doing it a bit more. But if you've got paints that you're using on a regular basis, just one little swift press on that and it would do make quite a bit of difference. Here's another contrast you can see here that's had a bit of a separation. I could shake it or I could start try and do this. You can see there how the paint's dropping down and mixing up. So on this angle here,
this is a new contrast color and i do think even for those that giving it a proper shake yourself as well as using this is a brilliant way of making sure you get all the residue off and it's mixing really well um, i've noticed with this one it is quite temperamental when you push it whether you actually get in whether it engages with a full vibration the other one uh, seemed to work without any issues You can tell this is new because I'm not even broken the seal. We've got a really nice contrast colour there. So a short and sweet review there. I guess watching people mix paints could be a bit of an ASMR classic. I'd say if you're wanting to risk the quality aspect, I'd go for the Approti, which is about £26, like I said. And it's more than good enough for doing the job. This one being the mid-level, slightly bit more expensive, does seem more stable, does a really good mix as well. And I think that's very well worthwhile. Hope you found this useful and see you again soon.